as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. A twofold life. Our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. 1 John 1 verse 3. Nothing is more needed in our work than the practical results of communion with God. We should show by our daily lives that we have peace and rest in the Saviour. His peace in the heart will shine forth in the countenance. Communion with God will ennoble the character and the life. Men will take knowledge of us as of the first disciples that we have been with Jesus. This will impart to the worker a power that nothing else can give. Of this power, he must not allow himself to be deprived. We must live a twofold life, a life of thought and action, of silent prayer and earnest work. All who are under the training of God need the quiet hour for communion with their own hearts, with nature and with God. We must individually hear him speaking to the heart. When every other voice is hushed, and in quietness we wait before him, the silence of the soul makes more distinct the voice of God. He bids us, Be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46 verse 10 This is the effectual pre-preparation for all labour for God. Amidst the hurrying throng, and the strain of life's intense activity. He who is thus refreshed will be surrounded with an atmosphere of light and peace. He will receive a new endowment of both physical and mental strength. His life will breathe out a fragrance and will reveal a divine power that will reach men's heart. Many, even in their seasons of devotion, fail of receiving the blessing of real communion with God. They are in too great haste. With hurried steps, they press through the circle of Christ's loving presence, pausing perhaps a moment within a sacred precinct, but not waiting for counsel. They have no time to remain with the divine teacher. With their burdens, they return to their work. These workers can never attain the highest success until they learn the secret of strength. They must give themselves time to think, to pray, to wait upon God for a renewal of physical, mental and spiritual power. They need the uplifting influence of His Spirit. Receiving this, they will be quickened by fresh life.